Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Tina and my aim is to improve your drawings just like others have done for me when I just started out. If you want to follow along, I put a link in the description below which takes you to a page where you'll find my reference piece, line art and even some extra reference pictures. Another easy and quick drawing this week. We are drawing the silhouette of Moana, except we're not filling this with black, but we're going to create a coastal scene. Start by laying down some cream color. It doesn't really matter which pencils or colors you use, something similar will be just fine. Decide where you want the water to begin and fill up the entire area below this point with your cream color. Next, go over this with a slightly darker color, just to make sure you leave a little bit at the top empty. Then we are going to layer the darkest color for our sand at the bottom. Again, just take something a little bit darker and only put on a layer from the bottom till halfway the feet. This way we blend everything out, we get one nice smooth transition from a darker to a lighter color of sand. To blend this out I use the blending stump just to be more accurate. To start on our water I use the lightest blue I could find. Fill up the entire area with this color, make sure to put on a lot because we're just using this color and then blend this out. Moving up on our Moana onto the darker part of this coastal scene. Choose a darker blue you like, but make sure it's not the darkest, as we're going to need that for the top part. I wanted to make it a bit darker, so I put on a little bit of darker blue, but when I blended this out, I thought it was too dark for my liking. Luckily we're working in pastel, so I just went over it with a lighter blue to fix my mistake. Don't you just love this about pastel? Happy with how it was looking now, I started on the top part. I filled this up with a nice dark blue. I did left the stingray inside uncovered because we're going to make this black. I'm doing a silhouette in a silhouette, if that makes sense. To smooth out the transition from the lighter blue to the darker area, layer some mid-tone in between. We're then going to blend this out. Later when I go over this with my black, the lightest colors won't affect the black that much, whereas the darker blue is going to alter the look of the black more. Make some adjustments as you go, for instance I made the top part a little darker and I put some more of that mid-tone as well. Looking at the middle section I still wasn't happy so I brightened it up. At the bottom here I darkened it up a bit. But this is all up to you, you are the artist after all. Next up, get those wave lines in. I used that same light blue from before, just draw a line where the two colors meet. And for the line lower I used the white, in fact I used white everywhere then. At first I thought it would be too strong, but it's actually a good match. The next thing we're doing is putting in the sea foam, which kind of gives everything a more finished look. Now the trick to this is to not think it through too much. This isn't about putting down a perfect line, the ocean doesn't have perfect lines. When you do this, either look at my piece to give you some reference, or look up some beach scenes, like these ones. These are some examples I found on Pexels, a free reference picture website. And that's it for the coastal part, now we're just going to get that typical stingray in and just fill it up with black. To give this a finished look, I just went over the edges with white. So what do you think of this small piece? For me it's nice to do something like this, which takes me so little time compared to my usual drawings. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you had fun. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you never want to miss out. I hope you guys have a great week and see you in the next one.